So it is time for one final season with Leicester City as we try to win the Premier League as well as the Champions League with them. Last season, we came extremely close to winning the Champions League, but unfortunately, we lost out to Liverpool in the final. This season, with us having a ridiculous transfer budget, we're going to try and make Leicester City the best team in the world. Season 3 with Leicester City is not going to be an easy task at all because we don't have two of our most important players of this series, Jamie Vardy and Cass. Michael, we won't have them for this upcoming season and it's not going to be easy to try and replace them. But I'm so excited for this season 3 because we're going to try and make the Foxes the best team in the world and this should be a ton of fun. So if you guys are excited for season 3, make sure to show your support by dropping a like in the video. That would be awesome. Let's try and smash out 2000 likes for the first episode of season 3. If you want new around here, subscribe for more FIFA 20 career mode content and let's get this underway. Also, 2019 almost wrapped up as we move on to the next decade, 2020. So... I just wanted to thank you all for your incredible support on the channel over this past year. This has been the first year of me doing YouTube as my full-time job and it's been brilliant. And I just wanted to thank you all for your support on this channel. We've gained over, what, 80,000 subscribers over this past year, probably even more. And it's been ridiculous. Hopefully next year is going to be even better. I've got big plans for the main channel as well as my second channel. So it all should be incredibly fun. And yeah, I just wanted to thank you all for your amazing support. And without you guys, this just wouldn't be possible. So let's get this video started. So let's first take a look at the team we've got at our disposal and decide where we need to make improvements and signings. Starting off with Timo Werner up top. He's going to be leading the line once again for us. Last season, he scored an incredible amount of goals and I'm hoping this season, he's going to do more of the same. Wilfred Zaha on the left, brilliant left midfielder in this game. He's so good down that left flank, so much pace and raw attacking power. Madison and Didi and the elements in midfield is absolutely perfect. Now, this is where things get interesting. Although Chukweze is decent, I would love to have a better right winger because we're going to try and make Leicester the best team in the world and we need a better right winger than Chukweze. So... That is something I'm definitely looking to work upon. Ricardo Pereira as my right back is simply perfect. He is one of the best right backs in this game, in my opinion. Ben Chilwell on the left, who might be our captain for this upcoming season. We've got Suan Zabay Alderweireld at the back as well. And well, I'm probably looking to ship off Alderweireld because he's starting to go down in his overall. And his pace is incredibly low already. So that might be another position where we make improvements because... I wasn't impressed with Soyunku. Tuanzebe is great, but I feel like we need another centre-back. Dean Henderson in goal. We might be looking for another goalkeeper. Let's just put it that way. Honestly, this first team is incredible. With a few improvements, we can certainly make Leicester City the best team in the world. Looking at the bench, we've got the likes of Haaland, Riyad Mahrez, who I'm probably looking to sell because he's starting to go down in his overall. He gave us one really good season, which I'm really happy about. Harvey Barnes as well as my backup left winger. We've got Danny Olmo, who's again super good in this game. Hamza Chaudhry, Soyunku, Cameron Griffiths. Kasper Schmeichel has retired, so we don't have him in the team. And that's why signing a new keeper is definitely necessary. Necessary. We've got some more talents on the bench like Todibo, Tavares, James Justin, Ian Morgan. Jamie Vardy hasn't retired yet but we won't be using him this season. It's going to be Haaland and Timo Werner as our two strikers up top. Once again, we're going to stick with the 4-1-4-1 formation this season because I really enjoy this formation and it did extremely well for us last season as we reached the Champions League final, finished fourth in the Premier League and also won the Carabao Cup. No need to change the formation if it's working well. And this is where things get interesting. With a budget of about 180 million, we can certainly make some big money signings to make Leicester City the best team in the world which is exactly what we're going to do. And of course, if you guys have any transfer suggestions, put them down in the comment section below. I pretty much read every single comment, so let me know what kind of transfers we should be making. First press conference of season three, and if you guys want to get your questions in, make sure to put them down in the comment section below. First one of today. It's clear that this is your last season with Leicester, so make impactful signings instead of any potential long-term signings. Well, that is completely true. This is my last season with Leicester City, so if we're making signings, we need to make signings that will actually improve the team at this moment and not in the future. So, one player that fits that bill is Jaden Sancho. The English right midfielder, I think, 
could prove to be the perfect signing for us as I'm looking to bring in a better right winger. He's English as well, so it's kind of realistic. Of course, we're a team that finished fourth in the Premier League last season, Champions League final as well. So in season three, signing Sancho seems realistic. Of course, if we would have made this signing in our first season, that would be completely unrealistic. But now, I think this is a signing that makes sense and would really improve our team. And funnily enough, this signing would actually be amazing for us in the short term as well as long term because he's only 21 and this guy is definitely one of my targets. Next question, Chukwese is really fast in the counter attack and he is a beast. He needs more game time so give him more game time. It's not as simple as that man. If I want to take Leicester to the very top, I need a winner in that right midfield position. I need the best possible player in that position and for me at this moment, that is Jaden Sancho and that's why we're looking to sign him and Chukwese is going to kind of be a backup option to him if we do end up signing Sancho and it's going to be a similar case for him this season. Last season he was our backup right midfielder, this season it's going to be the case but hopefully I'm going to be using him as a super sub and we'll give him more game time and of course if an injury happens to either Zaha or of course potentially Mares or Jaden Sancho, Chukwese will be the man for the job. We need squad depth and he's still going to be an important part of the team. Next question, why don't you buy Daniel James as your right midfielder? That's actually a very good question because Daniel James has been absolutely brilliant in real life for Manchester United. But the thing is, in FIFA, he isn't high rated enough. And if we do end up signing him, he's not really going to improve the team whatsoever. And we're not looking for any long-term signings because this is going to be our final season with Leicester City. We need to make signings that will have an impact at this moment. And that's why... We're not going to be signing Daniel James. But that is it for today's press conference. Let's move on. A quick moment to honor our best player from last season. And it was Timo Werner who ended up winning the Player of the Year award for Leicester City. What a season he had, man. Absolutely unbelievable. We didn't really feel the absence of Jamie Vardy up top because Werner was scoring goals left, right and centre. He was one of the top scorers in the Champions League as well as the Premier League. And he was brilliant for us and no wonder you guys voted for him as our player of the season. Alright, so let's now focus a bit on transfer business. So in terms of signings, I'm definitely looking to bring in a right winger, possibly selling Mares and bringing in Jadon Sancho. Again, a defender is a must and even a goalkeeper. So in this episode, we're going to try and make the signing of Jadon Sancho. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys for the centre-back option as well as the goalkeeper option before making any sort of decision. So let me know your transfer suggestions down in the comment section below. So Jadon Sancho is currently 88 rated and still plays for Borussia Dortmund. He's valued at about 70 million, which is a lot of money. But take a look at this, guys. His contract expires in 12 months, so we should be able to bring this wonder kid to Leicester City for a pretty good deal. So that is exactly what I'm hoping for. Hopefully we can get him for a bargain because signing an 88 rated winger for someone who's only 21 and of course for like 80 million or so I think would be an incredible deal. So let's try and make it happen. Since his contract is expiring, I'm going to start off with a 72 million transfer fee just to see what Borussia Dortmund come back and say Jaden Sancho to Leicester will it be possible for that money and it is this is a bargain deal guys I mean I know it is not the most realistic of transfers but it's our final season with Leicester City let's indulge let's have some fun and let's bring in Sancho to Leicester for this price it is an unbelievable deal now we negotiate with Jaden Sancho and his agent crucial squad role is what he demands which is expected I mean he's that good five-year contract length absolutely perfect no issues from me whatsoever about that release loss we don't want any release loss oh my goodness he only wants to be paid 88,000 in wages which is a bit crazy so let's remove the gold bonus submit offer and let's see what Sancho comes back and says 93,000 this this is unreal 93,000 per week and Sancho is willing to accept that you can't be telling me this is a bad deal. This is a ridiculous transfer and it's actually cheap for us to bring in Jadon Sancho, which is crazy. And with that, Jadon Sancho to Leicester City is a done deal. Our first signing of this season and it's a banger. We've started off season three unbelievably well. What a transfer this is. This has got to be our best transfer of this series so far. Jadon Sancho to Leicester City. Oh my days. Our attack now has so much pace with Sancho, Zaha and Timo Werner. This is going to be crazy. We are really going after the Premier League title as well as the Champions League with such a transfer. We are definitely going to have season goals for this upcoming season with Leicester. And these are basically objectives that we're going to try and complete. They're going to be six of them. 
and they all are going to be decided by you guys in the comment section. So if you guys have any suggestions for objectives that we'll be trying to complete, let me know in the comment section below. For example, it could be something like this, Premier League Glory, which is to win the Premier League title this season. And also, there's a catch. If we fail to complete at least four out of these six objectives, we're gonna have to do a forfeit. So let me know your objectives that we should try and complete in the comment section below. Training is still gonna be a really important part for us in this series and I'm gonna be training the likes of Haaland, Ian Morgan, Todibo, Tavares and Cameron Griffiths, our youth academy goalkeeper for now. So there you go, we're getting some training done. Have a look at this guys, it seems like Mares is happy that we've transfer listed him which is interesting, he wants to move. Anyways, I guess it's the right move then, we've signed Sancho, we've got Chukweze, Mares has to leave now. And also Toby Alderweireld, he is a bit glad that I've put him on the transfer list. Maybe he's realizing that he isn't good enough anymore or he's aging or something like that. I'm just going to say I'm just exploring. Okay, this is interesting. Transfer offers coming in for our right backs here. Ricardo Pereira for 57 million and James Justin, 20 million for him from Brighton. I'm not looking to replace our right backs because both of them are really good. So we're going to reject the offers. Oh, this is a big offer for Toby Alderweireld from Inter Milan, 40 million. That's actually a ton of money for someone who's 32 years old. I know he's 86 rated, but that is a really good offer. Let's try and negotiate a bit more to see how much Inter are willing to pay. So I'm going to counter with 45 million, just testing the waters out and just seeing what Inter Milan are ready to offer for Toby Alderweireld. Let's see what they come back and say. And they're willing to pay 45 million for Toby Alderweireld, who's 32 years old. We literally got this guy for free, so it's a great deal for us. So Toby Alderweireld has been sold to Inter Milan. Now I know you guys are going to question my decision. Why am I selling Alderweireld? The reason is his pace is extremely low. He's not in his prime anymore and it makes sense to take the money and run. And of course we're going to bring in a world class replacement. The centre back I want to sign now should be someone in his prime and should be insane in game. So if you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comment section. We are going big for that centre back position. But I'm going to only make the signing once I read through your comments. A transfer offer coming in from Hoffenheim for Riyad Mahrez and this is a pretty big deal as well, 32 million for him. I'm probably going to try and negotiate and get that fee up a little more. Let's see if they're willing to pay 35 million for Riyad Mahrez. If I'm not wrong, we managed to buy him for about 34 million so we're going to be making a bit of profit on this deal after a very good season that he provided us. So it's great business all round and there you go, Hoffenheim are willing to pay that 35 million for Riyad Mahrez. Unfortunately guys, the Hoffenheim deal didn't really work out for Riyad Mahrez, which is a bit frustrating, but Inter Milan have come in with an offer which is pretty low to be honest, so we're going to try and negotiate with them and get that fee up even more. Let's see if Inter Milan are willing to accept a 35 million evaluation for of course Mahrez, and they are, so hopefully the deal will go through with Inter Milan. They've already signed Aldo Vidal from us. Are they going to sign Mahrez as well? And there you go, Riyad Mahrez to Inter Milan is a done deal for 35 million. He's going to be joining Alderweireld. Together they'll be moving to Inter Milan. So it's almost time to kick off our Premier League season as our first game is against Burnley away from home. Should be interesting, but of course, we still have more transfer business to get done with, which we're going to do now in the next episode after I read through your comments and then we will be making a decision. We're looking to sign a centre-back and a goalkeeper. We've got a pretty good budget of about 178 million, so we really can go extremely big with our transfers. And if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments section below. For now, the focus is on the Premier League. It's time for Jadon Sancho to make his Leicester City debut. This should be fun. Press conference time before our first Premier League game of the season. Last season, we finished fourth in the Premier League. This season, we're looking to win the competition. Is the league title within reach this season? We aim to win everything. We are Leicester City. We're a team that reached the Champions League final last season and we're going to do everything possible to win the league this season. What do you expect from Jadon Sancho's debut? I'm just going to say he'll prove he's the right man. We have signed him for a lot of money and we know he's got the talent. He's already gone up by one in his overall and I'm sure he's ready to wreak havoc in the Premier League. Is Alderweireld's replacement already at Leicester? Do you think Zwanzebe can fill the gaping hole left in the squad? I'm just going to say he's got the qualities needed because he's a quality centre-back. I'm still looking for another player to sign, but Swan Bay can definitely help me out in this episode by playing instead of Alderweireld. Honestly, guys, I am so excited for this first game of the new season against Burnley away from home. These are the kind of games last season where we drop points and, well, that's where we lost the title. We cannot let that happen this season. We've got to be winning games like this and hopefully we can. 
this is the team that I'm going for for this one against Burnley. Jaden Sancho will be making his Leicester City debut in this one. Apart from that, it is basically our strongest 11. Ben Chilwell to captain the side. So Yunku at the back along with Suan Sabe. This is our team. Leicester City versus Burnley. Let's start off our Premier League season with a win. Still Madison on the attack. Goes inside to Wilfred Zaha, takes a good touch. Still Zaha on that right foot of his, goes for goal. Wilfred Zaha with our first goal of this season. And he does it in style. What a beautiful finish that was from Wilfred Zaha. 1-0 Leicester City and we start off our season incredibly well. James Madison picking up the assist. But take a look at that for the finish. It was beautiful. No chance for the Burnley keeper. And Leicester City lead 1-0 away from home. Here's Wilfred Zaha, looks for James Madison and here we go on the attack, Madison brings it inside. It is now Timo Werner, looks for Yuri Tielemann, shoots first time, 2-0 Leicester City. We are on fire in this game as Yuri Tielemann scores a really good goal there. Leicester now lead 2-0 against Burnley and Timo Werner picking up the assist for this goal. A really nice pass there from him into Tielemann, shoots first time and bang. No chance there for the Burnley keeper at all as we make it 2-0. This is the kind of football we want to see more often from Leicester City. It is now Yuri Tielemans who looks for Jaden Sancho. It is a beautiful pass into Sancho's path. Brings it inside. Releases it to Zaha. He could be scoring yet another goal and he's done exactly what he did for that first goal. A beautiful finish shot from inside the box. Leicester make it 3-0. Jaden Sancho picking up an assist as well. It's actually mad. We're leading 3-0 against Burnley before half-time. In fact, it's only been 30 minutes. It's, it's crazy. We're playing brilliant football and looks like the team are ready to bounce back from that defeat in that Champions League final. Let's try and sm score more goals, man. We're going for it. Leicester now lead 3-0 against Burnley. We've got Burnley pushing forward here with Chris Wood. It's a good cross that comes in. The header is decent and Dean Henderson couldn't keep that one out. He probably should have done better. Maybe a better goalkeeper would have collected that. Who knows? But well, Burnley get themselves a goal back and well, it's 3-1 to Leicester. We still have a big advantage though, but it's a bit frustrating to concede a goal like that. Yuri Tielemans looks for Jaden Sancho as we might have one attack before the halftime whistle. Oh, here goes Jaden Sancho with pace. Look at how quick he is. Still Jaden Sancho could lay this one off for Wilfred Zaha. He's going to get his hat-trick. He is a hat-trick on match day one in the Premier League. Wilfred Zaha gets himself a hat-trick. I think this is the third player in the series to get a hat-trick if I'm not wrong. But there you go, guys. Zaha does manage to do exactly that. A brilliant hat-trick from him. Jaden Sancho picking up his second assist of the game. And it was a simple finish from Zaha. Very unselfish there from Sancho to lay this one off for Zaha. Three goals for him in this first half. Incredible from the former Crystal Palace and Man United man. Leicester now lead 4-1 in this one. Here goes Sancho once again. Looks for Timo Werner. It's a beautiful pass, but Werner couldn't convert that chance. I mean, it was, it was a simple opportunity. Werner really should have scored that. But what a pass from Jadon Sancho. He's so good on that right side, guys. He's creating tons of chances for our other attacking players, which is brilliant. Zaha's already got himself a hat-trick in this one. So let's bring him off for Harvey Barnes, give him some game time. And also, I'm going to bring on Danny Olmo for Yuri Tielemans. And you know what? Let's give Sancho a bit of a break. He's only just joined us. Let's bring on Shukwese and give him some game time as well. Werner looks for Danny Olmo. Should keep it in. Still Olmo or releases Chukwese brilliantly. I'm sure he's got the pace as well. Still Chukwese finds Werner. Should be a goal for Leicester City, but it's off the post. We just have to hit the post every single episode, man. Without that, there isn't going to be an episode. It's, it's kind of a ritual now, us hitting the post constantly. Here's Madison on the attack. Sees Harvey Barnes brilliantly. Still Barnes, goes back for Timo Werner, he should be able to get himself a goal in this game and he does exactly that. Timo Werner isn't going without a goal in this first Premier League game of the season as he scores a really nice finish. But did you guys see that pass from Madison to Harvey Barnes initially? It was brilliant football, Barnes' cutback was brilliant and Werner did the rest. A simple finish there to beat Nick Pope. Leicester now lead 5-1 against Burnley. Full time against Burnley and we start off our Premier League season with a bang. Beating them 5-1. What a result this is. A hat-trick from Wilfred Zaha. Jadon Sancho on his debut was just superb. Getting himself a couple of assists. This was literally the perfect start we could have wanted in the Premier League. 5-1 against Burnley. Sancho has put in a great performance on his debut with Leicester City. What do you make of such a strong debut? It's, I'm just going to say it's clear to see why I brought him in. This guy is going to take Leicester City to the next level. He's just such a direct player with so much pace 
and technique, he's going to be amazing for us. So it seems like Arsenal want to sign Suanzebe for about 25 million. There's no reason for us to sell Suanzebe. I really enjoy using him. And even though he isn't the most highest rated of players, this guy's got so much pace. And I really love using him. So we're not going to be selling him at any point in this series. Straight away getting into our next Premier League game of the season as we play Everton at the King Power Stadium. Our first game in front of our own fans. Let's give them a good show and continue winning in the Premier League. As I've said, these are the kind of games that we often drop points in. And this season that's got to change. So three points in this fixture is a must. Jaden Sancho, Zaha, Werner lead the line. We've got Madison Tielemans and Ndidi in that midfield. I'm giving Todibo an opportunity in defence instead of Soyunku today to see how he plays. This is our team. It's a strong Leicester side. Let's go out there and win. Oh no, this could be a chance for Everton early on in this one. And thankfully it's offside. I saw the, the linesman hold the flag up and I was just it was just a sigh of relief there. Richarlison's goal won't stand. Well, the referee has certainly helped us out here. But it was offside, but... Ooh, barely. That's close. Ben Chilwell once again. We know he's super quick. Here goes Chilwell on the attack. Ben Chilwell puts this one in, but it's defended ultimately by Yeri Mina. Great defending there from Everton, but good to see us hitting Everton with pace. Still Pereira now. Looks for Yuri Tielemans. This could be our chance. Tielemans back inside to Ricardo Pereira. Can he score? No, he can't. But Madison shoots and it's in. And we make it 1-0 against Everton. James Madison, Leicester City through and through. He gets his first goal of this season. A brilliant finish. Inside the box, finesse shot. Comes off the post and inside. Leicester lead against Everton. This game was fairly even with Everton creating quite a few chances. So I'm really happy that we've taken the lead in this one. Ricardo Pereira's deflected shot falls really well for Madison and he converts 1-0 Leicester City. Sigurdsson, now it's Morales who goes for goal and almost gets Everton back in this one. A big save there from Dean Henderson. This could prove to be dangerous. Barella goes wide for Richarlison. Inside to Andre Gomez. Back to Richarlison. Everton playing good football. Ivobi. Out wide to Kenny Tete as he tries to cross it in. But we have defended so well in this game. And deservedly so. We've kept the clean sheet so far. Let's keep it going. I'm going to be making a change in this one. Doesn't seem like Werner is having the best of games. So we're going to bring him off for Haaland. And let's see if he can get himself his first goal of this season. Cross comes in. This should be our ball to deal with. What kind of a clearance was that man? I cannot believe this. Ben Chilwell has literally just given Everton a goal away. It's, it's, it feels like we're the same old Leicester now. We've defended so well up until the 75th minute to do this. Like, come on, man. Like, come on. Have a look at this, guys. I, I press the A button to clear the ball away like two times with Ben Chilwell. And this is what he does. Look at this, guys. I mean, what more can I do here? This game feels rigged, man. Honestly. Here goes Wilfred Zaha. This could lead to something. Here's Haaland. Controls it well. What a chance. This is Haaland. Goes for goal and he scored. Let's go, guys. In the 83rd minute, it is Erling Braut Haaland who scores. And this could prove to be the winner in this game. These are the kind of games that when we look back at the end of the season, we'll remember. That's where we won the Premier League title. Haaland with a crucial goal that could prove to give us all three points. Zaha picking up the assist for that. But look at that control there from Haaland. Bangs it on his stronger left foot and bang, it's a goal. Leicester now lead 2-1. Our job is to defend for our lives for the remainder of this game. So happy to see Haaland get himself a goal. Oh no, this is, this is not good guys. Andre Gomez with a chance and are you kidding me? Andre Gomez. Andre Gomez out of nowhere shooting and this is why we need a better goalkeeper. Because Dean Henderson can't keep shots like this one out and we're going to draw points in this game. Well, that's the Premier League for you. This is just this is just a joke, man. How is Andre Gomez pulling this off first time? Like, are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do, man? Uh, I'm just frustrated. Madison looks for Haaland, controls it well, releases Jaden Sancho. One last chance in this game. Still Sancho goes back inside for Haaland, but no Everton cleared it away. I cannot believe this, man, and we've dropped points. So frustrating. We tried so hard and in fact we played so much better than Everton in this game. But EA decides who wins when and well. Andre Gomez scored twice. Two ridiculous goals from him. So frustrating. And we've dropped points in our second game of the season. So as of this moment we are 6th in the Premier League with 4 points. And right now it is Brighton that are perfect in the league with 9 points out of a possible 9. Which is 
really interesting. Liverpool continue to win with, of course, six points out of two games. Man United are perfect as well. City have lost one game, which is a good sign. But yeah, next episode, we've got to start picking up more wins. And that'll only be possible if we secure the signings of a centre-back as well as a goalkeeper. Those two positions are priority for next episode. And that is what we're going to work towards. So next episode should be a lot of fun with a ton of transfer business as well as a couple of games against Newcastle and Aston Villa. Before we wrap up today's episode, it is time for you guys to make your vote count and vote for the player of the episode award. A couple of nominees for this one. First one being Wilfred Zaha. He had to be nominated. A hat-trick in that game against Burnley was tremendous in that one. The second nominee is going to be James Madison, who I thought was brilliant in this episode as well. Scored a great goal in, of course, that second game against Everton and was brilliant in midfield all round. So those two are your nominees. Click the I button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. So guys, that is that for the first episode of Season 3. It was an eventful episode as we signed Jaden Sancho and we've kicked off our season. Next episode should be even more fun and if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, a like would be brilliant. Let's smash our 2000 likes, that'd be awesome. If you are new around here, subscribe for more FIFA 20 career mode content and well, I'll catch you guys next time.